So you're the bin bag? Yeah. Where did you get it from? Um, online. Whereabouts online? My missus got it from me. Do you have any proof of invoice? Uh, it's at home. I'm going to say I'm going to need it in store so I can match it up because right now I don't believe it's real. Multiple reasons. If you look at mine, luckily enough I bought my bin bag in today yeah. as well. If you see the zip there, you see how much the wiggle room is? Barely anything from side to side. If we're looking at yours, it's literally... Let's, let's just jump place to place, you know? Um, not only about the NFC, it might be an earlier version, but the NFC tag's not coming up in it at all. The cartoon looks really good, which is throwing me off because normally the cartoons always look bad. And what's good about it is the colour's not too bright. With the real Montclair, the colour's always a bit more dull and, com and the contrast isn't there. Fake ones, they make that colourful. The last thing is, if you look at the stitching here, I know not everything's always perfect with these jackets. We are literally breaching the edge of the border and then there is a lot less. I'm really sorry. So you'd offer nothing on it? I, I couldn't offer anything if it's not real. Okay. Uh, if you bring me the invoice and I can match some more stuff up, so I don't want to take a risk. Okay. I need to be 100%. I like the hat. Where did you get it from? I found it this morning in the car park. You sell it to me. What do you think is real? I know the answer. Could be real, could still be fake. I think it's real purely because I went yeah. online at different sites and you okay. could spot the fakes among all the quality material. What did you look find? What did you find well, out? I found that basically tended to be that it was guaranteed, but I always trust Chris and what he says. If he says it's fake, it's fake. If he says it's did real, it's real. It did you think it was real? I thought it was. Yeah, it's fake. No, it is fake. fake. Oh, it is clear, clear, obvious it's fake. LV, they normally do the monogram the right way around. It's upside down. That's what I thought, right but again, I wasn't 100%. It's so right, it's my job to find out. The stitching is going diagonal. The Inside, they've copied another brand. Yeah, it's only purely because they put the name on the inside. I thought, well, maybe they wouldn't go to that extent. This type of Louis Vuitton is not made in Spain, but it's a cool cap. Thank you for bringing it in. Is it worth anything to you? Fortunately, no, not honestly. Do you know what? You can have it because it was. I get a real one come in. I'm gonna do real versus fake and discuss everything about it. When you come in for a watch, I'd knock fifty quid off. No worries. <laughs> you couldn't tell a fake from a real I'll give you five grand on that watch. And I'll put the cash in front of you. I put five grand there. Give five grand there. There's mine. What it ticks. No ticks, go. No tick. They micro tick, so you get five five thousand ticks in a second. No, 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 no. I'm gonna same with yours. It's a 1991 Submariner with an aluminium bezel. So the aluminium bezel, all the middles 18 carat. That's why I'm off top by it. This is where an expert comes into play. So when you're like, oh, they look the same. This is where they don't look the same. Side, they're made of chromolite, so the white isn't white in there. See how yellow they are in mine? Yeah. They're white in that. They shouldn't be white. They should be yellow. And then you see where they're painted. They're not even perfect. You can see lumps in them. Yeah. When you buy a Rolex, they won't. Have lumps in them because they're perfection. Yeah. The swoop is swooping and it shouldn't swoop. It should so fast that it looks like it's swooping. It's an illusion. But when they swoop, it's because it's fake. Well, when they swoop, do you want the ones? Can you check if I've got no box? I got the box. I don't know if they're real or not. Oh, cool. okay. They look off already. Give you a bit of variety as well. Double check them. Quick question: Where did you get them, and do you believe they're real? So my dad got them for me a couple years ago. Did he actually? Yeah, I don't think they're real. Man, it makes me feel bad though, because if your dad got them for you, man, I don't even want to insult the shoe. The colour's just completely off. See this blue? This blue should be on there. So it's so dark and off colour, it's just really not right. If your dad bought them, honestly, I feel really bad, and I kind of don't want to insult them because you know he might have bought them cheap. He might have bought them for a lot. It, it, disregarding they're or not, it's the for someone giving you something is what what makes it. Yes, it's a bit of money, but he's still giving you a pair of shoes. At least you got that. Some people don't even, even get that. Even on the fold-out box, it's like a fold-out Amazon box. Shouldn't be in there. They've been uh, completely painted and they've oh, missed a the section of the paint off. See right there. Normal Jordans don't do that. Yeah, they definitely aren't um, legit ones. I'm gonna say they're UAs, which means unauthorized, authentic. Keep hold of them, beat them. That's what I would do, man. And just wear them for whatever, biking in anything. Yeah. I appreciate. It. If they're real, you're looking at over fifty thousand for these two watches. Why did you think they were real? I I knew they were fake. Okay. Oh, you did know? Yeah. Because I saw you on TikTok, I thought, yeah. and I see you do a lot with fake things coming in. Yeah. I thought it'd be nice just to... Know why. No. So, some reason, straight off the top, if you're on the back as well, it doesn't, they don't say win a Rolex. It also doesn't sit in the shape it's sat in. You see how it's got a kink there? Rolex wouldn't do that. You can also hear the tinniness of it. With this one as well, it's so thin. This is all 18 carats. And so not only would you see it normally scratch it if it's worn as worn as this, it wouldn't have this class. It just sounds like a cheap watch, no offense. And also literally from the movement to having no Rolex engraving there or yeah. anything to do with it, unfortunately. I wish they were real. Oh, that's all right. You're quite far off, unfortunately. But I want to say thank you very much for popping it in. Two Rolex, if they are real, we're going to be fetching above 50,000. So. Okay, so you found us from TikTok? Yeah. yeah okay. Why did you think they were real? I, I knew they were fake. Okay, oh, you did know? Yeah. Because I saw you on TikTok. Where did you pick this up from? She goes for Christmas. She won't. She said if it's real, she won't. 
I'm going to be honest, this bag doesn't look good. The Louis Vuitton, if you're looking at this, is really Louis. different font. It's not even different font, it's blurring. Uh -huh. It's not easy to read normally with Louis Vuitton. It's crisp, it's sharp, it's there. Yeah. Yeah. And just looking at the goldy colour, one, yeah. it, one, it's too gold. Two, I know Louis Vuitton stitching is sometimes off, like it is, like it's not always pitch perfect, but that, it starts off super thin and it gets Huge. Yeah, I, did, I, did, yeah, I, did, I did look. I've seen, I've seen your videos online where you've done all that stitching. And, and if you've seen like it? this, normally they use like one bit of leather, and on this they they literally they haven't because no. that that star. See that star? That's that bit. Yeah. I'm gonna say I don't think it's real, unfortunately. That's why I said to her, I said I don't think it will be, but honestly, yeah, we're here to help. So whenever you need anything. Cheers. What did you pick it up from? It was from like from like this emporium. I picked it up just in a box full of belts. And what are you looking to do with it if it is real? Uh, selling it. Right, so not a good sign is all of this fraying here. Right, you, okay. you don't normally see it when it comes to Fendi. But... I mean, I did try to look up what's real, what's not, but... Yeah. I wish it was. It'll make my job even easier. So what was your verdict on it? I don't know. The only thing that made me think maybe it's not is a little tag. Um, in the photos I saw, it was more deep of a stamp. To me, that looks all right. Why I'm doubting for If you're looking here, it's going stainless colour. So it doesn't normally do that when it comes to... So don't make our gold but it's a lot thicker plating on it it looks like it's quite thin plating I mean, if it's a fake it's a good fake right yeah yeah no it is i'm gonna say no because if you're looking there as well the stitching is going a bit wonky right okay but apart from that it's a really good if it's yeah. a really good fake i don't think that's real is it it's like an old rolex oh but look cheers buddy no unfortunately not on this you can tell straight off the bat yeah it feels like it feels cheap doesn't it yeah, the yeah I do think. And it's the, you can see the colour fading on it, yeah. even on old Rolexes, the colour doesn't come off. If it's gold, it's gold. If it's not, it's not, you know, it's not plated. No worries, man. I work what, in a charity so, shop and for. we had this bag dropped in, so I said I'd bring it down. All right. But I said it's not real, but what the other lady's like, well, just get it checked, get it you checked. Said, you said it's not real, well, if you think it's not real, I reckon you know what you're doing. I know, yeah, so. I do, but I said I'd bring it down to check because they're kind of on one that it's real, and I don't think it is. Can I say, why don't you think it's real and I'll tell you why I don't think it's real. I've got I've got a reason instant. You can tell. It's just you not it doesn't look right. One you can tell, you can tell by the finer details always look epic on the Prada. But it's um, a good leather pack. It's yeah. proper leather. Um, the ladies down the charity shop, one of um, them's adamant it was real and I'm like it's not. So the only thing you can tell her if it was adamant that she, if she's real, she needs to do research and know what's real before she jumps the gun. Yeah, so what it is, you see the leather badge that holds the Prada logo just on yeah. the front. That's exactly cut to the background um, silver badge. So you can see it's slightly wonky like this. Like, and the leather that Prada used isn't actually that good. So when it's that thicker leather and that good, it's definitely a Turkish leather. So it was the Speedmaster, wasn't it? Yeah, honestly. So. Honestly, if it was real, it will fetch a few thousand. Right. <laughs> Don't think it is, unfortunately. Oh, okay. <laughs> really sorry. Like, uh, there's just a few ways. Like, we have a few similar ones in the window. Like, instantly from doing it, you can feel the metal, especially when when you deal with them every day. You don't have to even look too much in detail. Say the Amiga here, not that sharp or bold. It's very, very faint. Hearing it, it sounds a tiny bit tinny. I wish it was. At least you've got a bit of reason to keep it. That's all right. I'm. I'm... Really happy it is fake, to be honest. Yeah. It, it makes you feel a bit better about it. Um, well, thank you for bringing it in. Thanks a lot, mate. Nice one. Happy day. Swatches. Okay, cool. I'm getting loads of swatches in at the moment. So what ones have you got? There's uh, already one looking a little bit different. Got them all from Swatch himself? Yeah. Uh, okay, how much are you hoping for on them? All of them. I want 300 quid on all of them. 300 quid on all of them. On all of them together? No, each. Each. All right. Um, cool. So we've got we've got a moon, we've got a Neptune, we've got a moon, a moon and a Mercury. Straight off the bat, why does this one look completely different to this one? I got it from America. Um, yeah, okay. You can, I'm going to be real. This one, I don't think is real. If you're looking at it, you can see the colour's completely off. The others are good. These all have invoices from looking into it. I love a Neptune, so they're hard to get your hands on. This one, I think, is fake, unfortunately. Uh, the rest are real, though, so I've got four. How much are you hoping for? On the four? You can have this one back. I can't buy fake. 300 quid on each. I sell them on our website for 300. Um, I'll give you 240 on each. I'll call this one 250. What's that total? 970. I'll do a 950 a thousand coin flip. Yeah, go on. You're the UK public are losing over 3.2 billion pounds every year on fake designer circulating the market. Here at CB, we provide you authenticity and a guarantee is going to be real in good condition. With a huge variety of clothing from Gucci, Dior, Louis Vuitton, brand new Burberry rim breakers and Canada Gooses at a fair market value. We're not here to extort you on price. We're not here to make you a one-time client. We want you coming back to us. This is why we are offering 
offering you a fair deal. Check us out at cbstores.com or negotiate on this number if you want to buy multiple bits of clothing at 